Not a single Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts lasted more than a year in Harry Potter's entire time at the school. We know that the position was cursed by Voldemort when he applied for the teaching position and was rejected for a second time. But what else is there to know about Voldemort's curse? Keep watching to find out. Before we get started though, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. The curse was cast by Tom Riddle who at the time was already known exclusively as Lord Voldemort. He cursed the Defense Against the Dark Arts teaching position to ensure that none of its applicants could hold their post for more than a year. Upon his graduation from Hogwarts, Tom Riddle asked the then headmaster Armando Dippet for the post as professor for Defense Against the Dark Arts due to his love for Hogwarts and passion for the Dark Arts. Dippet rejected Riddle's application because he was deemed to be too young as he was only 18 years old at the time, but he was offered the chance to reapply after a few years if he was still interested. Over two decades later, when Riddle resurfaced as the mysterious Lord Voldemort, he returned to Hogwarts to ask for the job once again. At this time, Albus Dumbledore had taken over as headmaster, and knowing of Voldemort's dark intentions, he rejected his application. In those two decades, Voldemort had hunted down his father and murdered him. He had also acquired the lost diadem of Ravenclaw and turned it into a horcrux. Voldemort was merely using the application as an excuse to return to Hogwarts in order to do research into dark magic recruit more followers and to hide his diadem horcrux. He was still infuriated that his return to the school had been denied, despite also knowing that Dumbledore would never hire him. In revenge, Voldemort cursed the position to ensure that no applicant of the Defense Against the Dark Arts post could keep the position for more than one year. A secondary and more strategic reason for cursing the post could be that Voldemort wanted to reduce the quality of the teaching of the subject, as its purpose was directly opposed to his goals to take over the wizarding world. Disrupting the teaching by constant changing professors would make future students less capable of defensive magic, and therefore their ability to go up against dark magic would be compromised. After a certain amount of time, the subject had fewer willing applicants, as many were in fear of being cursed, resulting in the necessity of Dumbledore going out to seek a new teacher and give them offers to persuade them into taking the position. By 1995, the curse was so well known and feared that Dumbledore actually failed to find a replacement, resulting in the appointment of Dolores Umbridge by the Ministry of Magic. The curse continually claimed a teacher each and every year. The curse was so powerful that it was unable to be removed, even by someone as powerful as Dumbledore. This resulted in the curse being in effect from at least 1984 to Voldemort's demise in 1998, claiming many defense against the dark arts professors in the process. We know that the curse was so powerful that it couldn't be removed until Voldemort's death or if it was voluntarily lifted once Voldemort had gained control of the Ministry of Magic. After Voldemort's downfall, the curse was broken and Hogwarts was able to keep a permanent defense against the Dark Arts teacher. Voldemort's curse on the position was somewhat unusual in the fact that he didn't curse a person directly, as is usually the case with any curse or jinx, but instead he cursed a position, where it was unknown who would be the future occupant of that position, manipulating fate itself. This in itself showed great expertise in dark magic. It's unknown what the requirements and incantation of the curse were, or if it could be used for other subjects or even other establishments and careers. It is likely that Voldemort came across the curse while he was traveling and experimenting with the darkest magic, he came across some kind of ritual. Voldemort knew he wouldn't be successful in gaining the position and simply came to Hogwarts under the pretext of the position so he could hide the Horcrux. That means it is very possible that he had placed the curse before even applying for the position and perhaps it was the Horcrux that held the key to the curse itself. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below.